Hello everyone, this is Cody Soltis from ConsciousLove.org here for your monthly angel reading and energy forecast for the month of September 2015. I'm coming from you guys um, from the sunny California. <laughs> um, I was planning to do these in Pennsylvania, but I had a very, very busy trip that was fantastic. So if I'm a little low energy today, just know I'm jet lagged. <laughs> um, but I look forward to finally being able to deliver my spiritual service to you guys and give you the loving messages from the angels for the month of September. So um, before we begin, I will be using two decks, the Angel Prayers Oracle Cards from Kyle Gray, as well as the Angel Heart Sigils from Kyle Pierce. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can contact me on my website, www.consciouslove.org and go to the Services tab or the Contact Me tab. Um, I am no longer doing free readings. Um, those of you who would like a second or an additional one, you're, we're going to have to set up the <laughs> um, exchange. Um, yeah, because things are actually picking up and I enjoy that. Um, but I know for my benefit and yours, um, there needs to be energetic exchange in order for this divine work to continue moving forward. Um, besides that, you can also email me at queer.spirit.guidance at gmail.com with any questions, comments, or concerns, um, as well as just to ask for a reading. Please follow me on Twitter at, at <laughs> conscious underscore love, um, and please join the Facebook group. I probably will be making a few other social media things just to be networking and branding my spiritual product. So... Um, I believe that's all. I look forward to the energies we're going to experience this month. And I look, as always, am so thankful and grateful for all your love and support. Namaste, you guys. You're amazing. Let's get into these readings. <gasps> My dog is just knocking on the back porch door to get out again. And she just came in. She might be joining us. Okay. Beep boop a doo. What? What? You're beating me up. Okay, bye. And she's just... Oh, she's looking at eggs. What's she doing? Are the chickens okay? Anyway. <laughs> I'll leave that on there because it's kind of cute. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Not thank goodness, what is this? <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Are you kidding me, spirit? Are you kidding me? And they just say, it's dark, it's tired, you need an extra help. Whatever, we got a mess here, Sagittarius. Um, I have a section <laughs> that's for where we are coming from. I have a section for where we are going, a section in the middle telling us how to get from point A to point B this month and what's going to be happening, a section at the top from a divine perspective telling us, you know, what we're meant to be learning, what angelic and spiritual influences are affecting our lives. We have a lower section here, which is the biggest one, <sighs> telling us how we can expect to experience those energies in a physical manifestation. And we have, okay, one card from the Angel Prayers deck by Kyle Gray to, you know, give a nice closure to this reading, as well as some, you know, divine lessons, a prayer, an angel to work with, a meditation, something for you. So, we got a big thing here, a lot of blocks. Um, let's get into it, because there's a lot here. Ooh, heavy, heavy energy. What is going on, Sagittarius? Again, did we get this before? Stillness. It's still difficult for you to f find, to be still in all things, even when you're working to be still. Anxious, 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 busy, 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 exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. This is where we're coming from. This is like the end of September. Oh no, this is for September. This is like the end of August and the very beginning of September, how you're feeling. <sighs> pressure, lots and lots of pressure. Spread thin, flattened, 
way down. Oi, 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 oi. And it's affecting your sense of self and your esteem and your identity. You're getting squished under pressure. Oh. And here's a funny thing from Gabriel. This is both a moment for you and a hardship to be receiving messages of insight. Again, this is a difficult time, clearly. But they're selling, telling me that this is a moment to be gaining insight. This is a moment to be analyzing. This is a moment to be thinking, to be creating, to be changing. This is a moment from all these pressures to maybe realize why are these pressures happening to you? Am I really happy here? Should I be making changes? Is this the life I want? There's a moment of insight, but you haven't been doing it. You haven't been going within. You haven't. If you have been going within, it's not for this subject. The answers are there. But you haven't been going in. So sit with that, because what you're being led towards... I swear we got this before, too. Reconciliation. Reconciliation with self. Reconciliation with two halves of yourself. Um, so lots of new reading for that card this, this month. You're split. Like, you're kind of feeling a little two... Not two-faced. It's like you're one way in public and you're one way in private. And I thought I saw this. Yes, beloved. You have a lot of ego things going on where... Not that you're viciously hating on yourself, but you're... Not feeling very good about yourself. Because you feel a lot of pressure from other people to be performing. Or to be a certain way. Um... You feel a lot. Sorry. You're feeling unvalued, pretty much. You're feeling unneeded or that anyone can do your job. Really, really compressed, I'm getting. Um, but you act like everything's fine. You still live in this world of solitude, even though you're with people. You still keep a lot hidden. A lot. But you need to be doing some work within yourself. You haven't been going in to see the insights. And you haven't been... balancing out these energies. There's the victim you and the bully you. You were just hurting each other. Um, you have... Your ego is so in charge. And again, that's very big for you, fire signs. It's the solar plexus chakra. It's all about that kind of stuff. But dang, 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 ding, dang, is that negative voice in your head just pulling some punches. Making you bleed. Hmm. And so does prophesize and so it shall be done. <laughs> you think that whatever you've heard from the past is how things are going to be. This is your message about how to transform. Get away from what you've been taught. Get away from what you think is because of whatever it was that you've been led to believe, if that makes sense. Um, it's like you've, you've internalized this belief that life is supposed to be difficult, so it's going to be difficult and you're going to keep punishing yourself and not changing. Because this is, even though this life sucks, it's like on the deepest level, not the deepest, but a deep level, um, you accept it and you allow it be so. And again, you two are misaligned, so as you, and you will be successful in aligning yourself with healing the self. By realizing the problem isn't out here, it's in here. To really be finding time to be still, and to go within for some insight. It's like three messages of the same thing. <laughs> 
you have been doing it last month, it's time to be doing it. It's time to be going within this month. It's going to help you with the rest of your situations. You're probably wanting some egoic responses like, oh, am I gonna get that job? Or, oh, is that girl gonna like date me? Or whatever. Mm -mm, it's not about that. You gotta be healing yourself before healing these two sides of you that have been feuding for so long. You need to be healing that before you want to worry about anything else like that. So this is the spiritual work you need to be doing. Um, oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. We want you to be the champion of your own life, but you're dismissing your own divinely given sovereignty, leadership ability, value, worth, vulnerability. <sighs> Michael's not just here to remind you that you were fully capable of leading your own life. Oh, he just wants to clear you of all those negative thoughts that you're believing right now that are really holding you back. Um, to, uh, to remember your leadership, to remember your strength that you really have forgotten. Like, you don't believe it at all right now. You're in a very dark place, and I'm sorry to say that. They want you to be your own champion. They want you not to be dependent on other people, including them, which is why they may not be so pr seeming so present. They're still there. You're blocking out a lot of it, but also they don't want you being dependent. <sighs> Excuse me. They don't want you being dependent on their good vibes or salvation. You got some more to be doing. They're leading you in the right path, but this is going to be a journey that you have to be doing. They've been coming to you this whole time. It's time for you to find the time to go within and go to them. Okay? This is time to not play victim and to wait for, you know, miracles to happen. Be your own freaking miracle. Hmm. You have three cards. Again, this is a giant spread. Three cards for the physical. It's going to be difficult to find pleasure, to find things that make you happy, um, whether you have sex or not. <laughs> I'm going to sense that either you're not going to be getting any or <laughs> the one you're having is not going to be fulfilling. A lot of things won't be fulfilling because that's not the point. How can anything make you feel happy if you don't feel unified within yourself? You might be having a dissociative, depressive moment this month where you just feel like a ghost in a shell, like like you're just watching things out of your eyes, but really you just have no control. <sighs> There's so much pleasure issues, but you're not going to the right source. You're not going within. You keep going without to find your pleasure. There's wonder in the world. There's fantastic things to be understanding and exploring and seeing you're going to be led to that this month slowly they are when you're being bold if you're bold enough to do this work and to make the choices to move forward to be your own champion a little bit to charge ahead even though things aren't easy or make sense if you make the choices to move forward you will be supported by spirit you will burst forward you will transform beyond your wildest dreams, but you have to be bold. So know that you might not have fun this month, but that's okay because you need no distractions. You need to go within to heal the wound that split you in two as best as you can. Go to therapy if you really need. Um, but heal that fracture within your heart. And again, this is really about finding love within yourself, for yourself not finding pleasure from outside sources, not looking for validation, you know, not looking for pats on the back. The message is always love, but like literally you need to be loving yourself. You need to be healing the two fractured parts of you. Stop being a bully and stop being a victim. Realize your strength. You can be your own champion. And only by honoring that and making the baby steps and the choices, so even if you don't feel like you're a wise champion who's strong yet, Literally, as soon as you start making the steps to move forward, you're going to get good results. And you're going to start seeing the good things. So this is a good sign. As depressed as you may be, as hard as life may be, if you do this work and this directive of literally going within and then making the choice to move forward with bold, courageous action, 
you'll be okay and again archangel michael is here for you as well you are protected archangel michael michael <laughs> thank you archangel michael for surrounding me with your protective light pretty much saying no matter what you do if you go within that dark place within yourself you're going to be okay you're going to be detaching from some unhealthy things. You're going to be transforming and healing. Same thing as you are brave enough to be bold. Again, know that the angels are on your side even if you can't feel them. Know that the angels are on your side even if you can't feel them. He is there protecting you, helping you move forward. Know that. Things will change this month, okay? Things will change this month. Because you're changing. Because you're going to make the choice to go within to heal yourself. To make a choice to be bold and take a risk and then reap the glorious benefits that come from doing that you're going to see great change this month if you do that okay i love you guys so so very much and so it is namaste everyone you guys are blessed beyond your wildest dreams you must understand that okay it's difficult hang in there i'm here for you feel free to contact me anytime you guys you're loved